Hello guys, this is an SSD upgrade video for the Mac Pro. Hell yes, there's a hell of a lot of stuff going on here. Got the new SSD right here. Let's see, there's a 120 gigabyte HyperX Fury by Kingston. I love Kingston SSDs, they're not the fastest in the world, but you know, very reliable, great brand. It came with a little spacer right here, in case uh, the SSD is too slim actually. That's mostly useful for laptops that have a really, you know, have a larger set of, set of bay, so you kind of need a little bit of extra spacing there. Also very convenient if you've actually lost your caddy for your drive or, uh, you know, for your laptop. I had that happen a couple of times before, so, you know, those things could come in handy, but I don't really need it for my Mac Pro, so. Also got an IC dock here, which is a pretty much is at a two and a half inch to three and a half inch converter. Just screw it in, pop it into the drive caddy of the Mac Pro, and you're good to go. Because you can't just put this thing in the Mac Pro, of course. Because we've got some drive bays here. Focus. No focus today. Mm, I guess not. Come on. There we go. Yeah, I'm filming a different camera today just to experiment with it. So far, so good. Anyway, so these are the caddies. This is the SSD. It would fall right in between. That's the way it's supposed to go in the Mac Pro because it, uh, you know, it locks straight into the setup port. So, so yeah, we kind of need this converter here to do so. We'll uh, bolt that in. And uh, the reason I got these bays out is, of course, first bay here is going to be where the SSD is going to be put in. It's going to be my boot drive. I'm going to install a fresh copy of the, the Yosemite Beta, latest version on it, because uh, you know I just want to upgrade directly to. Uh, final version once it hits. This is bay 3. I took a 1 terabyte drive out of there. This was my original boot drive. It was a digital Caviar SE, 320 gigabyte drive. That thing is uh, going in storage as well. I haven't actually wiped it yet. So I think I'm going to put it into, uh, you know, bay 3, wipe it, and then put it in storage anyway. Or just keep it as my, uh, you know, in case the SSD fails, I actually have a bootable installation of OS X. Because this does contain an updated version of OS X Maverick, so I might actually just do that. Yeah, I'm going to keep that drive in storage. I'm not going to wipe it. This drive has been wiped, though. Sega Barracuda 7200.11. 1000 megabytes. Only good stuff. This is going in storage, it's been wiped completely. No partition table, no partitions. Totally blank. So let's focus our attention on the SSD here. And of course, the IC dock. This is supposed to be a very ingenious system. Well, I guess I'll just have to pop in the SSD and we're good to go, I guess. I guess we do kind of need that spacer because it's kind of loose in there. Well, I guess it's just that. Okay. That's nice and simple, but I am going to use that spacer. Yeah, definitely. Okay, anyway. I'm going to pop this thing into the caddy, get it fastened, and uh, put it into the Mac Pro. Okay, we're good to go. As you can see, the IC dock is now installed. Set interface right there. First, going to uh, slide in the blank. Those two screws that fell out were not supposed to come out. So that was kind of a bit, uh, kind of a little bit of a bitch, but you know, I put the screws away in a place where I can easily recover them. So that should be good. And now we're going to. Insert the IC dock and the SSD. There we go. Bit of a rough approach, maybe, but I could feel it sliding in there, so that was good. And it is, in fact, installed now. 
that's cool. Let's pan over to this side to actually get to my Mac Pro door. Get that installed. There we go. And we're done. Let's boot up into the Yosemite installer and see if we can actually see the SSD and install a fresh copy. Hmm, there's the stick. Let's boot her up. Hold down the option key. Windows. We're not looking for that. Come on. That's it? Ah, crud. Okay, let me fix this. Okay, to switch some things around, uh, the USB stick apparently was not bootable. Don't know why. Don't know why this flash drive failed me. It just, uh, you know, hung at the white logo. Or I couldn't even see the Apple logo, just, you know, hanging a white screen. And it just booted from the hard drive anyway. So, that's kind of useless, I guess. But yeah. As you can see, as you can judge by all the disk activity right there, we are in fact booting into the OS X Yosemite installer. Which is nice. Oh, and by the way, this is also a test video for this camera. My mom bought this camera not too long ago. It's a Casio Exilim camera. Don't know the exact model number, but uh, you know, if the quality is any good, it's supposedly a full HD camera, so then I might actually uh, get one for myself or use this one in the meantime so I can make some videos uh, during the day because it does seem that this one shoots better video in daytime than the Moto G does which is right here. Although I must say that the Moto G does better in the evening in the dark. I've already done a direct comparison for myself and you know audio quality is pretty much on par so so yeah I'm gonna wait for it to reach the installer and receive our SSD will actually work and then I will do a boot up time so you can see if uh, or actually how fast this thing has become. Good stuff. Success. Come on autofocus, thank you very much. As you can see there's a 120 gigabyte Kingston SSD right there. It's in bay one, which is correct, 120 gigabytes in size. Okay, let's make a partition. Let's be true to the Apple naming scheme and call it Macintosh SSD. Give it a GPT partition table and let's go. Okay, I'm going to install OS 10 Yosemite now and then we're going to see how she performs. Good stuff, good stuff. Okay, the OS has now been installed. Let's press the power button and see how fast she boots this time with an SSD installed. Of course, this Mac Pro only has set it to, so we only run at 300 megabytes per second maximum. But, uh, you know, we'll see what happens.
There we go. That's pretty quick. <laughs> Certainly a lot better than a hard drive. I found that uh, Yosemite really dislikes hard disk drives. It really takes ages to boot up from one. Yeah, thanks. So yeah. That's a nice touch. Now let's run a Blackmagic disk speed test and uh, make an end to, to this video because uh, yeah, this test camera I'm using for this video is running out of space actually. <laughs> Only has a 2 gig SD card in it, so let's go. Yeah, on the read it pretty much uh, fully saturates the SATA 2 bus, so that's pretty much bang on. So there's no point in overspending on an SSD if you're not even going to max it anyway. Yup, it's been a good investment, definitely. That's one hell of an improvement. So now my Mac Pro has an SSD. Yay! Later down the road I might actually buy another one so I can put uh, boot camp or the Windows installation on it on, one, on an SSD as well. We'll have to see how that pans out but for now. My OS 10 Yosemite is running on an SSD. And it's great. So, hopefully you've enjoyed this video on my SSD upgrade on my Mac Pro. And uh, I thank you all for watching and uh, don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, all that good stuff. See you guys later.